Hi again folks, Sean here at Wayman Dots. Uh, just a quick video today. I just want to do a quick rundown on the website allydarts.org or leadarts.org, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, they've been around for quite some time, to be fair. Um, and obviously it's a good website for being able to play darts online against other people, uh, both using camera and not using a camera. Um, Allied Arts also offers uh, a feature whereby you can play against the algorithm of the computer. Um, and there's also like a tournaments feature on the, the website as well. So you can organize a tournament um, and then people can select that they're involved in that tournament via Allied Darts. Um, it's, it's, quite, um, it's quite basic. Uh, I don't mean that in a derogatory way. Um, but... I think it's got massive scope and I've done videos on Ally Darts in the past on here uh, and there's a lot more people using Ally Darts now to uh, play darts online. So I just thought it was worth just doing a quick video just to go over it. So let's uh, let's take a look at the website. Okay, so here we are. Um, obviously, I'm already logged in. Um, simple to sign up, uh, username and password uh, and your email and then you're in. Um, so this is your dashboard that you'll come to whenever you log in. Uh, on here, you've got your friends, notifications. Obviously, up in the top corner there, you can show your status, uh, your inbox, so if anyone sent any messages, your notifications. Uh, so, you know, you, you, your profile is probably one of the earlier places you'll want to go to and click on. Um, here, you'll see all your recent games that you've played. Um, if they've been a webcam, it'll show the little camera symbol. If it's not a webcam, like this one here, you know, it won't show the camera symbol. Uh, your recent statistics. Um, so this is uh, I've only played seventeen games because this is a new account for me that I've set up. Um, my old account had got oh, close to probably two hundred games on. Um, but yeah, you know you can break down your detailed statistics. You've got your five hundred one uh, SIDO uh, single in double out for those who are unsure. Uh, your percentage win rates against other percentages. Uh, sorry, other averages. Apologies. Um, so as you can see there, I am two for two. Playing people who are rated 60 to 70, um, 6 to 7 for the 40 to 50s, and I am 0 for 1 playing anyone above the 70 average. So you can break down where you you know your game is at. That obviously is, is the same with the with the detailed statistics. Uh, add a little bit of your profile in as well. So if we just go back to the home page, uh, I've not got my webcam plugged in at the moment, so obviously I, I, I'm just using this. But this is where you can uh, click to check if your webcam's working. Um, they do have a fantastic uh, webcam tutorial. Um, so if you are new to webcam darts, um, this will talk you through what you need to do settings-wise in Ally Darts to activate your webcam games. So as long as your webcam's connected to uh, your computer that you're using um, or your device that you're using, this will talk you through how to uh, show your games. And it's a really broken down tutorial. Um, you know, easy step-by-step -step guide. Uh, fantastic little guide, to be fair. And, it, you know, people who've spoken to me in the past and said, oh, I, you know, I don't know how to use Allied Darts. This is the uh, tutorial that you know, I've sent them to and next thing you know, we're playing against each other. Um, so it's really worth uh, doing. Obviously... It's bringing in now the, the fact that you can use tablets as well. Um, so you can use a tablet for scoring, you know, a tablet for smartphone with lead arts. Uh, I keep calling it lead arts. It's Ally darts lead arts. I think they're, they're both probably going to be commonly known as that. Um, obviously, down here, you can see the public challenges that come in. Uh, I'll show you how to make a public challenge in a minute. Uh, but you can just click on that, and that will challenge them to that game. Uh, obviously, if it says webcam, it will mean the opponent... Uh, the opposing player will want a webcam game. Uh, so if you haven't got a webcam up, probably don't click on that um, because you know the, the, your opponent is looking for someone with a webcam to play against. Um, the, the option you'll probably use the most is create a game. So when you click, when you click the create the game, uh, you've got the option here for the game mode. At the moment, there's only two game modes on Allied Darts, and that is X01, or 501 as we all know, or you know, 301, 1001, uh, and Cricket. Not many Cricket users on Allied Darts at the moment. Uh, if you are after Cricket, 
um, Dark Connect is your go-to at the moment. Uh, I will be doing a video on Dark Connect soon. Um, Dark Connect for cricket, you get games quite regular on there. So if you if you're after cricket games, that's your place to go. Um, but select your game type. So as I say, you can play 170, 3015, 171, 1001. Um, opponent online, local or computer. So as I say, you can play against a computer or if you're playing two people in your house, which at the moment you can't do unless you are both in the same bubble. Um, you know, you, you can select that from there. Um, if you are challenging someone to a game or a friend that's on our iDarts as well, you would just input their name here. So you'd select there, you'd type their name in. And you play your challenge into a game. Uh, the public challenge is probably the one you're going to use the most. Uh, this is where you'll just play anyone that's online at the same time as you. Uh, tournament. So if you have registered for a tournament, the registrations for tournaments aren't on Ally Darts. They'll be on separate pages, maybe like a Facebook page or a challenge. Um, but the, if they've created the tournament name on Ally Darts, you can select it from there. So you'd select public challenge if you wanted to play anyone. Uh, what format you want to play, so one set, best of five legs, seven legs, nine legs. Um, do you want to win by two clear legs? Uh, is it a webcam game? So if you are playing webcam, you need to tick that box. Uh, you can also save the settings, so every time you come, you're, saving, you know, you're going to use the same settings. Um, the first to throw. Now, this is an interesting one, Ally Darts. Um, nine times out of ten, you'll select closest to the ball. But what it will do... Is when you start, you will have to throw three darts at ball. Now, if you and your opponent agree that you're just throwing one at a time, that's fine. But what a lot of players, and I would say 92% of the players I've come across on Ally Darts, you throw the three darts for the ball straight from the off. So you don't throw one, wait, see how it is, throw another one. You throw your three darts at the ball. That's what it asks you to do. Uh, and that's what a lot of people are doing. But if you and your opponent agree that you just throw one, he throws one or she throws one, and then you wait to see who's got what, that's fine. But again, it's etiquette and talking to your opponent about that one. But nine times out of ten, it'll just be closest to the ball. Uh, straight in or double in, so it gives you the option to play double ins. Um, double out, single out, or master out. Um, so, you know, the most common is obviously double out. Um, and the score input, block score input after new score. So... We've all probably played someone online, if you have regular players, um, whereby you will put your score in and their score will have gone automatically because they've been thrown at the same time you have. It's not good etiquette, but unfortunately it happens. Um, as a new player, I wouldn't overly worry about that here on the darts. So just keep it at zero, to be fair. Um, but once you've put all your details in, so you've got your 501, you've gone for a public challenge. I'm not offering a webcam game at this point here. I mean, closest to the ball, best of five. All you do is click start game, and then this screen will appear. Okay, and this will obviously show other people that you're looking for a game and you're looking for a challenge. If you want to select one of these, you just click it. If you want to cancel your challenge, just click cancel challenge. It takes you back to the home screen. So that's how easy it is to get a game started on Ally Darts. Uh, we'll just go back up here as well, just go through the last few bits. So we've got the... Um, play option which again just takes you straight to the create game the lobby which is obviously your dashboard um, the watch section so you can see all the games that are going on so when you have probably seen someone streaming a game you may have seen um a one of these little boxes uh that's because people will uh, screenshot you have know, taken the little capture of that box um and i've put it into their stream uh, but this is where you can see all the games that are going on at the moment uh, tournaments as i say Tournaments on Ally Darts, uh, probably hosted externally elsewhere, um, but you can create the name on here so that, you know, if I was playing here in the Dark Knights Castle Tournament, I would put that in my game description if I'm sending someone a challenge. Um, and the chat feature, which, you know, is, is generally what you'd expect it to be, it is a, a, an area where you can go and chat to people. Um Ally Darts, you will tend to find, is predominantly German-based players. Um, so, English can be broken uh, with some players, but you know everyone's always up for a bit of a chat. But if you haven't got a mic, so if you're playing the game with webcam but your mic doesn't work, there is a chat box when you start a game. In that chat box, just type no mic, so N-O-M-I-C, 
and the other person will then know that you've not got a mic to talk. Um, and the other thing that's good is if you haven't got a mic to talk, just put in there GD or shoot well. Um, just a nice little bit of dart etiquette and the same at the end. Just put good game, well played. Um, you know, thank you for the game. It's just nice. Just, you know, as a darts community, we don't want to be toxic. We want to be good. We want more people coming to play online darts at the moment. So let's uh, let's keep looking at that. Uh, obviously, like I say, your notifications. So if you get any notifications um, of people wanting to play you, the inbox, standard thing that it is. Status. So if you're online, you're looking for a game or you're busy. Oops, get my hockey there. Um, you can state your status. And then as I say, you go into your profile. The preferences in your profile, this is where you can change everything. So you can enable the sounds, disable the sounds. There is a caller option in here as well. You can change your avatar. Um, you can even deal with your webcam, your live stream settings from in here. Um, so as a new player, you're probably not going to mess with a lot of these settings. You might want to put your picture on there, maybe your profile. Um, but, you know, you can have a mess around and play around with that. So, yeah, that's just a brief uh, run over of uh, Ally Darts, really. And I think, you know, the main stay of people playing darts at the moment, you'll find a lot of players will play using NACA. Um, Dark Connect is quite strong as well at the moment. I've started using Dark Connect really well. Uh, I'm going to do a video on Dark Connect soon. Um, but Ally Darts is probably the next one along. But the, the, the trouble with some darts at the moment is the fact that, you know, Ally Darts is aimed at your webcam being linked into your um, your account, uh, whereas a lot of people will want to play you whereby they'll call you on Facebook Messenger or they'll call you on WhatsApp so that you can show your board that way. It, it's not That's not right, it's in my opinion. It's my opinion. Um, webcam Darts is having a webcam on your board which is linked to a piece of software like Ally Darts, like Dark Connect, and NACA for that principle, that you can show your board that way. Uh, that's the reason these sites were designed that way. Um, but unfortunately, you know, more and more people want to play Facebook and WhatsApp. And I'm going to do a video on Facebook and WhatsApp uh, darts and the, the pitfalls of, of that. Uh, that'll be coming up soon. So if you've uh, found way up now darts for the first time, thank you very much. If you drop me a like on this video, it'd be massively appreciated to me. It helps me out massively. Uh, also subscribe to the channel for more content coming soon. And as I like to remind folks, just mind your rocky.